Well, here is my ongoing project. My little housey. I have changed it since the last video. The spawn point seems to be a bit more stable. You don't spawn off the cliff. This is the entrance. We have the eating area. And the garden. The cooking area is over there. There's another player. Lit promenade around the outside. Some of these um, foundations are still wood. I'm eventually going to replace most of them with concrete. There are my water purifiers, all my food. We have the music area. Terminal, power armor station, and my shop. As you can see, I've got room to expand on this outside bit. And, you know, I've got blackberries. Razor grain, taters, carrots, corn, muck fruit, everything a growing uh, vulture needs. I'm going to go through this door, and we have the crafting tables in the stash. Through this door is a little bedroom. This door is through for the dangerous bit, hence why I've put a fence here. Because, yeah, you don't want to fall off that. But I thought, yeah, I might as well put that there. And then upstairs. This deck has the laser and shot, shotgun and spotlight turrets. All wired in with conduits. And up on the roof, uh, my missile battery. <laughs> um, now, you see, I did this because, right, White Springs is basically there. And there's a fisher site just off over here. So sometimes players drag scorch beasts and other big beasties here. So, I've got the missiles on the roof for the Scorch Beasts. Uh, one turret, I think the last time it happened, one turret took a quarter of its health before it went down. So, yeah, not bad. Uh, I'm still going to be tweaking things. I still have spare budget left. Which is amazing, really, for the size of the place. And I've, got, I've still got my artillery piece to build in place. <laughs> Which I'll probably place on the roo the flat roof up on there. Um, oh, and power. You may notice you can't see a generator. There's a fusion reactor. Under the floor. Why is it under there? Well... Yeah, it makes it really hard for the Scorch Beast to knock out the power for a start. <laughs> you know, things are not going to damage the power conduits too easily. See? It sticks up through the floor just there. So I won't be replacing these floor sections. There's four floor sections I'll need to leave as wooden foundations. Because the fusion core's under there. I might add a fence solid fence here. Actually, that's an idea. Oh, I'll need to get... It is fiddly building on the edge of a cliff, but I think it's worth it. That kind of wall's not going to work. I'll probably have to move the plants around and stuff, but you get the idea. You see that I can replace with concrete and the one beyond it. And 
these ones I'm going to replace with the, these lower ones I'm going to replace with concrete and it's nice I did think about putting um, uprights to show support for that upper level but there's two trees <laughs> two trees are supporting my uh, gum tree up there so yeah not bad I say I'll upgrade as I get more plants and the like. You know, I'll actually start decorating. Oops. Actually start decorating the place. I mean, I've put up a poster. <laughs> Storage. <laughs> for, the, for the hard of thinking. The only bit I'm not happy with is here. I have not found a way to block that stair edge so people don't fall off. Not that I'm going to get sued in this game. I mean, I've got I've got the big rotisserie and the normal cooking station, which is nice. I'll put the braziers on the outside just to, you know, a bit of extra light. Yeah, it's coming along. It's it's ev it's evolved from the first one. Now this the the last one took all the build budget to build, and this, despite being larger, and with the same amount of turrets, has used less, which is frankly astonishing. Uh, I don't know what was taking up all the budget. But, yeah. It's a kind of finicky game for building. Actually, since I've done the rebuild, I've not been attacked by anything. Um, it took three hours to build this. <laughs> That's how finicky the build system is. But I think it's worth it. I'll probably do... Well, once I've upgraded... As you can see, I've got cement here, but I'll replace these with concrete as well. These foundations. Because I don't like the fact you can see through it. It's just... <laughs> it's just annoying. Although that one's always going to be a pain. Because it's going to stick out the ground. But, see if I can find a solution to that. But she boring. My cliff top villa, as it were. With spectacular views all round. I mean, look at the view. I can see half of Appalachia from here. Appalachia, Appalachia, I don't know. And yet again, uh, I might add some sort of railing up here, because, well, shit. <laughs> if you're not wearing power armor, that's gonna hurt. Well, as you can see, I do have a nice bit of, couple of bits of flat roof I can probably put artillery on. Although that might be a bit of overkill. Although it could support me if I ever do the nuking, the the annoying nuking white springs everybody seems to do. But I doubt I'm going to do that, so. I don't know if I'll need the artillery. But yes, things are looking rather nice. If anyone's got any ideas, you can send me a message. Can't figure out how to get a gate to go on there. Apparently, gate the defensive gates only work 
on the ground. I can't seem to get it to work in that gap. That's what I mean, the the game is finicky. But yeah, um, if I progress more and get more stuff to sell... Oh, if you haven't seen it, the vending machines. That's what I've got in this vending machine. Recipes and drugs and magazines. And this one... You only got a bit of ammo. Um, I'll eventually stick some weapons and more ammo and stuff in there. I'm at level 57 on this character. So, yeah. But I thought I'd play around with the building system. I neatened up how the electricity works. You know, so I've got lights. <laughs> Everywhere. Not just oil lamps. I mean, even the bedroom's got its own little um, standard lamp. I don't have a bedside table yet, so... Yeah. I'll probably try and find a better bed. <laughs> Yeah, you notice I put a pillar there. Yeah, look. Don't know if you can hear the gunfire in the background. That's White Springs. But yes, my little abode. A little home away from home. Well, no, actually. Home away from vault. Up on the top of the mountains. Not right on the top, because I couldn't find a suitable place to build up there that wouldn't spawn mobs all the time. Uh, here, you just see usually the occasional mole rat or dog. That's all I've had so far. Although while I was playing about building, I did get I did get accosted by the insult bot, so yeah, came along and insulted me. Hopefully, neaten up this missile battery as well. <laughs> but anyway, thanks very much for watching. I will see you again. <laughs>